Well, guys, good morning. <laughs> we got a little bit of a scare, huh? I saw these tweets, I think, in the opposite order that they were intended. The first tweet that I saw was this one when I woke up and I was like, wait a minute. What is, what is that? What is that? <laughs> Woo, guys. We live in the future. It's triple splashdown, baby. And I saw this and I immediately in my head went, oh no. Because the Splatoon community for the last couple of days has been discussing in heavy detail what specials the Custom Blaster and the On Parry Duelies are gonna get. But you know what they did? I knew from the moment I saw that tweet, I was like, oh, they wouldn't just give one, they wouldn't just announce a new special and then only give it to one weapon. So I, I, I clicked on the tweet with hesitation to see exactly what I expected. <laughs> the triple splashdown! I was like, oh, okay. That's actually probably not the worst for these two weapons. They're both quicker-ish close combat type weapons that could benefit from something like this. It does guarantee they get a fair amount of chip damage, but I hadn't seen the footage before I saw the tweets about the kits and I was like okay okay I'm gonna I'm gonna hold out judgment until I actually see the special the thing about Splashdown is that Splashdown was kind of a fan favorite in Splatoon 2 it's the kind of weapon that like you know it was in the main marketing for Splatoon 2 which is kind of why it's weird they didn't include it in like the actual season trailer for Splatoon 3's chill season but it's each their own, I guess. Nintendo, you do you. Maybe you need a little better marketing, but that's not me. So, Nintendo loves to do this thing. Whenever they show off clips of stuff, they always show it off in, like, this little square so you can't, like, see what's on the side. Guys, we might not know what the weapon is that they're using right now. We might not know the sub-weapon. Ah! It's, it's on parry with Curling Bomb. That's what it is. And then here's where things get fun. It's got multiple circle. Now, this quality of this video is absolute dog water, by the way. But you can still see what's going on. The splash down here goes down first, paints that huge, <laughs> paints that whole circle, and then the other fists come down to actually do the damage and splat the players. And the best part, as people were noting immediately online, is when you use this ding dang splash down, if you die, the fists still go. So they made the splash down, you know unstoppable <laughs> which is what people like were kind of like thinking would be a good rework for splashdown back during splatoon 2 but thought at the same time oh it, it might end up being a little too powerful i guess the devs in 3 were like actually you know what let's let's do the thing unless you can shoot down the fists and they just haven't made that very clear yet because that would like change the way that the splashdown works you can also see the shield over here on bluefin depot on this edge uh <laughs> Crazy! Imagine using this shield to stop your opponents from knowing the splashdown is on the way. Disgusting. Lovely. Beautiful. We love to see that. It makes me have a laugh. It looks like when you do the splashdown from the air, that the fists and your character all kind of come down in tandem. Preventing there from being like a secondary layer of explosion that's all at once. We don't see anybody get splatted by it, so we can't see the damage output. I would like to assume that it still could get a splat when you're in this, but they don't really take the time to actually show us this. We kind of just make assumptions while pushing them back. This, this is funny. This is funny. This moving zone, this is great, especially for the fact that there's a lot of people out there that just straight up don't have much of an interest in actually playing on Bluefin Depot. I love Bluefin Depot. But like, if Bluefin Depot for some reason doesn't end up being viable, this will be a really fun mode just to play outside of comp. I do hope it is viable again though. Like, see, I'm just trying to catch. Like, if we go very slow on this, I might be able to answer my own question. So this guy is already a bit weak, it looks like here. We're gonna go bada bing. I'm just trying to see the fists land down. So we touch. And then there's the secondary explosions there. There. 
there. So maybe the regular splashdown does have the ability to get the kill. It's just so hard to see. <laughs> ah! I think it's safe to assume that maybe it does do the damage after all. It's fun, though. Poor, poor Reef Slider, man. This is still a special that's in the game. Like, it's not like this guy isn't here anymore. He's still chillin'. We still have six weapons coming up on seven weapons that are gonna have Splashdown not on their kits because they've got Reef Slider instead. They gotta do something to buff Reef Slider so it can like still compete with stuff like Triple Splashdown. Does Triple Splashdown completely invalidate the existence of Reef Slider? Kind of, but not really. They do move in different ways. Like imagine you have attacks coming from above and attacks coming from the side at the same time. It's a bit different. The Reef Slider at least guarantees that you survive until the end of the explosion, which Triple Splashdown clearly is not built to do that. It's built that so the fists can live, but it's not built so you can live. Can you die like immediately after your Reef Slider? Lol, yeah, of course. <laughs> but that's not like the point of the special. You're, you're, not, you're not supposed to be, you're supposed to be running in and making this big boom with either of these specials. They have different jobs and they're both boosted by cooler, of course. The thing though is, we have so many Reef Slider weapons, if they wanna even things out, they're gonna start putting triple splashdown on a bunch of things. And a lot of the fast weapons in the game that could combo well with Triple Splashdown already have a second kit. I wouldn't imagine them putting it on the Dreadringer. Maybe they'll end up putting it on the 52 Gal? I could see it. I mean, 52 Gal already is a two-shotting weapon. If you give it the special that literally two shots, could be a pretty fun combo. Let me know what you think about this thing in the comments because honestly, I'm pretty hyped for it. <laughs> honestly? Triple Splashdown still feels like a W for this game. Do we have a lot of specials in this game? Yes. Is it fun to have the variety? Yes. Should all those specials work to be in the game for a reason? Absolutely. I think that Triple Splashdown is good because it was a fun special to use in the last game and they're clearly trying to make it. So the special has some amount of viability in this game. Now it actually feels fun to use. The biggest problem it's gonna have, of course, is you have Reef Slider. Reef Slider is an entry tool. You can Reef Slide in, blow up the zone, yay. You can't run into the middle of the zone unless you're very brave with Splashdown and then get away with it, you know? Reef Slider at least lets you get in. That's the thing that Reef Slider has over Triple Splashdown. Triple Splashdown isn't something you enter in with, it's something you use to prolong. Can you use it as an entry tool if you really tried? Yes, you could jump to somebody. You could try and rush in and use it before you blow up, especially now that you have those fists that come down even if you die. But it definitely is slightly different from how Reef plays. But uh, we'll see how it works in the future. I think it's awesome. Let me know what you think in the comments.